It's been a while, hasn't it? Welcome, welcome to Pro Cycling Manager 2019, and welcome to episode number one of our Bahrain McLaren career mode. It's been about two weeks now, two, three weeks since the um, former career mode with Sunweb uh, was, uh, well, came to an end. And uh, there was many times where I wanted to post this episode, um, but I was waiting for the uh, final release of the 2020 database, which has been done. Obviously, the link for the database will be in the description. But yeah, the team I've decided to pick uh, for this year is Bahrain McLaren. Why, you may ask. Uh, there was a lot of suggestions. Uh, none of your suggestions actually were Bahrain McLaren. I was expecting, I was like hoping maybe that some of you uh, would suggest it. None of you did. Uh, but I had Orkea, uh, some people um, wanted me to take Alpes in Phoenix. I don't do that, I don't take Alpes in Phoenix. That, like, Arkea, I really thought about them, um, but I didn't want to go into Continental Pro. Uh, for two reasons, the fact that I usually just race like World Tour races, and also uh, I'm not a big fan of French Classics because they're mainly sprints. Um, so it left me with the World Tour. It was, well, I had propositions for Yumbo, but Yumbo was, I mean, people complained that I was winning way too often with Sunweb, so Yumbo was out of the question. Uh, there was Israel, Israel Startup Nation, I really thought about them. My choice was between Bahrain, Israel, and NTT. I didn't take NTT uh, because there is a sheer lack of talent, uh, if I'm being honest. This save might last two, like two years, maybe. I'm hoping that it lasts two years. I don't think there's anything I can really do. It's an old team. Um, I didn't take Israel for, I mean, a similar reason. Uh, I like mountains. And when your leader is Dan Martin, it's not great. Now, I didn't want to take too much of a, of a good team, which is why I'm, I'm going with Bahrain Merida. Um, sorry, Bahrain McLaren. Also, the, the jersey is absolutely amazing. So that's one of the reasons. Uh, we're going to take a look at all, the, um, all our riders. Starting with a 35 year old Yukiya Arashiro, former rider for uh, Europe Car and Direct Energy. We've got Enrico Batalin, Phil Bauhaus, um, which I didn't use in Sunweb. Nope, he was there uh, the previous season. Peyo Bilbao, who was one of the signings. We've got Gerega Bole, Santiago Buitrago, uh, which you haven't seen him yet because it's done the down under uh, playthrough and uh, he was often in the breakaways. We've got Eros Kopecki, Domiano Caruso, who will be, a, I think, my second best rider in mountain with Peo Bilbao and uh, Mikel Landa. Obviously, we've got the, ma the, 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 the man, the myth, the legend, Mark Cavendish. And I'm going to say it right here, right now. I will be winning a stage on the Tour de France with Mark Cavendish. I just wanted to point that out. Like My aim is to win the points jersey with Mark Cavendish on the Tour. I have no idea whether I'm going to be able to, to do it. But I wanted to set myself a challenge, and I feel like this is a really, really tough challenge. Next up, we've got Sonny Cold Rally, uh, who is one of uh, like my favorite riders on this game because he's just incredible. Scott Davis, uh, Chun Kai Feng, Ivan Garcia Cortina, uh, with who I'll try and do well in the um, Northern Classics. He'll be hel he'll be helped, sorry, with uh, or by Marco Halla and uh, Heinrich Ausler. We've got Kevin Inkela. I won't lie to you, I do not know anything about him. Mikel Landa will be our uh, marquee player, our star player. This season, 78 rated, 30-year-old uh, for uh, the former Columbia of Ineos, Astana, and Movistar. He never got his chance as a leader on the Grand Tour. He will have said chance uh, this season. I don't know on which tour, though. I don't know if he'll be on the Tour de France or if I'll uh, put him on Giro Vuelta. That'll be uh, something that I have to, uh, to, to figure out. Then we've got Matej Mohoric, uh, you've seen him in my uh, last playthrough with Sunweb. It was one of the reasons also as to why I chose Bahrain, because I really like Matej Mohoric in this game. Um, he's just so versatile. We've got Domen Novac, uh, who's the Slovenian champion, I believe. Mark Padden, um, who's got a lot of potential, um, maybe not going to be able to um, use that potential in two years, but we'll try our best. Herman Pensteiner, one of the um, surprises of last year's Vuelta. We've got Luka Pubanek um, from Slovenia. Wout another one of these signings this year for um, the uh, former rider of Ineos as well. Uh, so two, two former Ineos um, joining the team. We've got Marcel Sieberg, 
37 year old he's gonna be there kind of like a Roy Carvers for me but better Dylan Tunes on who I'll count a lot during the classics he's gonna be my classic guy Jan Tratnik Raphael Valls uh, and Stephen William oh there's another guy there's Alfred Wright I've never heard of this guy uh, I haven't done my plannings as of yet but if you take a look at it it's not that good of a team because when I had Sunweb I had Tom Dumoulin Michael Matthews Kraft Anderson and then I had the rest here I've got Mikel Lander Sonny Courbelet if you could argue uh, Dylan Tunes but then the rest of the team is really not that good so I, I believe this is a decent challenge uh, for me uh, I wanted a team good enough that I could compete, but I didn't want a team too good that would, well, prevent me from competing because I'd be over everyone. Um, I'm just going to take a look at the contracts to see who's got no contracts. Uh, there's, oh wow, I need to renew the entire squad nearly. Uh, Boutfrago, Wright, Inkala, okay. Uh, well, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make uh, the objectives, I'm going to make preseason, and I'm going to take a look at the calendar, at uh, the calendar, sorry, uh, and I'll see you then. Alright, well, the 2nd of January, uh, I've done all the uh, planning for the season. It was long, not gonna lie, it was rather long, but um, we're first going to take a look at our R&D for this year. Uh, we'll have um, available R&D for both the frame and the wheels. For the wheels, uh, we've got either, uh, we can upgrade the 24, who's very bad and good, uh, then the 50, who's bad and very good. Uh, okay, so they're the same. And then mediocre, mediocre. So they're all shit. Is that what you're going to tell me? Um, mm, right, before the start of the 2020. So, you know what? I might as well redesign all the, mod, uh, the, the model. Uh, Bikeways, we've got Merida, as I said. Um, very good, average, average, very bad, average, mediocre, and average, excellent. We're going to uh, renew. Uh, the or redesign actually the uh, Ride Pro from 2010. There we go. All right, now preseason has been done. I'm going to uh, take you through the planner and basically all the things. Um, so these are the race day. They are much better than the one I did with uh, with Sunweb. I think the one who's got the most race days this year is Hermann Pernsteiner. Um, uh, we'll just take a look at the uh, the tour for uh, the Grand Tours. Obviously, they're they're. They might change um, regarding injuries. But the Giro will have Sonny Colvalli, Damiano Caruso, Pio Bilbao, Wout Pouls, Hermann Pensteiner, Heinrich Hausler, Phil Bauhaus, and Marco Haller. Uh, it's, a, it's a strong team. Uh, I mean, it's like in my top 10 riders, there's seven of them, eight of them actually, uh, in, the top, in the best 12 riders. We'll then go to the Tour de France, um, who's got Mikel Landa, Dylan Tuns, Pio Bilbao, Ivan Garcia Cortina, uh, Phil Bauhaus, Marco Halla, Jan Tratnik, and Mark Cavendish. So Bauhaus, Halla, uh, and um, there's someone else. Oh, and Bilbao will double Giro and Tour de France. Uh, and finally, the, tour, the team for the Vuelta. Uh, we're going to have Mikel Landa, Damien Caruso, Pio Bilbao, Matej Mohoric, Wout Pouls, Ivan Garcia Cortina, Hermann Pernsteiner, and Marco Halla. So, actually, I'm, oh, I've, I'm tripling Pio Bilbao's season. Oh, okay. I thought I'd done that differently. Okay, well, anyway, uh, so that doesn't leave a lot of Grand Tours for the other guys. Um, again, it might change along the line. I don't know, maybe like I thought about giving a Grand Tour to Mark Padden or Raphael Valls or like someone like Enrico Batalin. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, for now, everything is planned uh, as I wished. I've got um, Henri Hausler ready to start the season because there's the national championships of australia in less than four days and uh we'll end the video with them so let's start first with the road race right national road championships of australia Buninyong, Buninyong 160 kilometers it is uh the usual route uh actually may have changed a bit i'll have to take a look at that um favorites are michael matthews uh, seven clark caleb ewan i'm nowhere close uh nowhere near actually because of my 66 hills, but I'm hoping that maybe, thanks to uh, the fact that I've got 94 fitness, I might be able to pull something. Obviously, I'm 
still racing on extreme difficulty. Uh, here's the proof if you are wondering. And let's go. I'm on the way for the first time this season. Um, we're, going to, we're going to take a closer look at the uh, Bahrain McLaren jersey, who is, I believe, one of the nicer kit this season. Uh, there you go, Henrik Hausler is, um, I mean, it's just, it's just be beautiful. It just really is beautiful. Uh, I also hope you like the thumbnail. Uh, like if you want me to change it, let me know in the comments. I I'm quite happy with what I've done. Uh, we're going to take a look at the start list for the first race of the season. Obviously, EF come in with, uh, oh, first time you're seeing the new jerseys as well on this career mode, or well, on this channel. Uh, you may have seen it on some other channels that have started like 2020 career modes, i.e. Benji, who's doing one with Carvoil. Uh, who we've got, as I said, Simon Clark for Education First. Um, we've got Michael Matthews for the team Sunweb. Similar design to last season. Uh, they've got, I think, the uh, Cervelo logo on the, uh, on the um, how's it called? Uh, on the uh, arms. We're going to start to follow Parkley Simpson here. We're going to try and uh, see if, we go, if we're able to go in the breakaway. I'm not sure we will. Uh, we then have Mitchelton Scott, no changes uh, on their shirt for uh, Jack Haig here. Jay McCarthy for Bora Hansgrohe, uh, which, I mean, you'll see him in action tomorrow on the Down Under. Rowan Dennis for Nios, which still really, really put me at like not at ease to see him in uh, Ineos shirt because he's going to be an absolute machine. Trek Sigurfredo with a slightly new kit. Um, I think I can't exactly put my finger on what changed, but I know it did. We've got Nathan Haas for, for Kofidis moving from uh, Katusha to uh, this team. Caleb Ewan for Lotto Sudan with the new kit as well. Ben O'Connell for NCT Pro Cycling. Uh, they still have green equipments, uh, but that will be changed uh, as soon as they're released because they're currently still under the Dimension Data um, well, branding. Pro Racing Sunshine Coast. I have no clue who they are, but they've got Leaf Howard. We've got Team Ukiyo with Robbie Hacker. Um, Israel Startup Slab Nation with Rory Sutherland. Newberry for Futuro Maxis. It looks like a Croatian sh uh, shirt, I don't know why. Oliver's Realford with uh, Feet and By. Scott Jenner for the team at Bridge Lane. Miles Scottson for FDG. Um, was that? Culey for Team Super Recycling. We've got Remy Kavanagh. I don't know if his name is Remy, mate. Kavanagh for St. George Continental Cycling. Walters for Memil uh, CCN. Okay, I'm going to guess that's a... That's a Finnish team. A Finnish team has four Australian. Mad. Including Yates. I don't know if it's one of the Yates brothers. Uh, Monday for Nova Nordisk. And uh, we've got Schmidt for X Speed United, which is a team out of Hong Kong. Okay. Two men breakaway right now. Uh, we've got Lindorf and Carson Edwards. No, not Carson. Carson Edwards is definitely not a, uh, a cyclist. We gave a uh, gap three minutes for a peloton, uh, over a peloton being led by Adam Hansen. I wasn't allowed to be in the break, but I might try, um, yes, yeah, usually like a, a mid, uh, um, a counter-attack midway through the race. We'll see if I can uh, try and, uh, and get this counter-attack. And with 63 kilometers left in the stage, there is no breakaway anymore. Uh, EF and Sunweb have been working uh, together to um, catch the uh, two uh, rescue, well, the two uh, escapees. Not sure really why, uh, they weren't really a threat and catching them opens the door for many riders to counter-attack. It's odd, but um, I mean, they they do them. Is that, a, if, is that a sentence? I don't know. But um, I might try to attack at one point with Henrik Hausler. The plus two is definitely something I'm looking for. Uh, like I've got 69 hill, 60, uh, 72 sprints. Not sure I'll be able to like do something in case of a mass sprint, so I might have to uh, to put my eggs in one basket, uh, and that being an attack. Not sure how I'm going to be able to pull that off though. All right, penultimate time um, in uh, this climb, and Michael Stora is heavily increasing the rhythm. Luke Durbridge is struggling to follow. Uh, we've had to increase our um, our rhythm to 85 now. It's a good acceleration from Chris Hamilton, but he dropped everyone, so he has now to stop um, as Lachlan Morton chases him back. 
67 riders left in the peloton. I'm not expecting anything to to like um, happen in uh, this first, this final few slopes of this climb. Uh, I'm just going to take a look if there's any uh, big name dropped. Jay Hindley, Jay Hindley's gone, uh, who was two-time uh, Australian champion with me. Carson Edwards, who was in the breakaway. Professor Layton got dropped. Lindorf, who was in the break, and yeah, like just people that no one has ever heard of. 19 kilometers remaining in the uh, Australian Championships. It's a 60 minute peloton that will uh, head towards the final climb of today's stage. And Hein uh, Heinrich Hausler is looking rather good, I will have to say. All right, we're going to put the uh, the final climb. We've lost a few positions here and there because we've been uh, dropped by uh, like some riders blocking us. I mean, the the, the usual uh, on uh, on PCM. We're in the lead in the peloton. Lachlan Morton is in our wheel. I'm not sure if he can hold on for much longer. No, he cannot. Uh, is that an attack from Hamilton or is he just going to pace? Okay, he's just going to pace. Then let's follow the rhythm of Chris Hamilton. Then there goes Rob Power. Uh, he's going to be chased back by Damien Housen. Uh, and Caleb, Caleb Ewan is already attacking. Ooh. That's not something I expected. Now, do I attack at the summit or not? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I have no idea what to do. If I don't do anything, I'm going to lose the sprint. Right, let's attack, let's attack now. Heinrich Hausler attacking. Michael Matthews, Caleb Ewan, Simon Clark, Alexander Edmondson, Lee Farwood, Nico Schultz, um, Jamie McCarth. Okay, everyone's following. Great. We've got a, a little lead. And I'm hoping that no one chases. It's a shame that Nico Schultz is there because that gives a teammate to Caleb Ewan. And he catch he managed to catch us. Right, there's one guy who's about to withdraw. Great. Um, three kilometers left. Who's in my wheel? Ron Dennis, do you want to launch the sprint? That would be extremely... I would really like that. Is he starting a sprint? By the looks of it, I'm being dropped by him, so maybe yes. Right, let's start right now. Heinrich Hausler starting a sprint, 37 men to win today. Heinrich Hausler currently leading. Can we hold on? And yes, we will. We will hold on. We're going to make a... Uh, we're going to close... Uh, well, zoom out. Zoom in, sorry, on Heinrich Hausler, who wins... His first ever race with the Bahrain McLaren shirt. What a debut for uh, this team. We went ahead of Nathan Haas, Nicholas White, Jay McCarthy, Leif Howard, Ron Dennis, Nick Schultz, Caleb Ewan, Michael Matthews, and Rory Sutherland. I'm going to guess that because of uh, the uh, sustainable amount of people in this group, they got kind of slightly blocked. But we take our first dub this season. That's how you want to start a career mode. What a way to start your career. Well, I mean, not for Heinrich Hausler, who's definitely not starting his career. But at 35 year old, uh, I think he wins his first ever title as an um, Austrian champion. Obviously, he used to be German, so it kind of helps. But yeah, it's a win for Hausler ahead of Nathan Haas. Nicholas White, nice position for the guy riding for BLN, which I'm going to guess is a bridge lane. There was apparently a team classification and some gaps. Uh, that, I mean, there was the bonus seconds in the, uh, in the GC. I don't, know really, I don't really know why. Uh, but Mitchell and Scott win the team classification. I guess that's something to go home with, but they'll most likely be disappointed uh, with um, with only that. And it is the best start I could have hoped for. It didn't go as I wanted to, uh, in the sense that it, the, the 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 scenario isn't at all what I expected. But. I mean, I'll take it. I was expecting some attacks midway through the race. They never came. I was expecting some attacks. They never appeared either. Uh, I was the only one to make a move, which was surprising. But yeah, uh, we take the win ahead of Haas, as I said. Um, Nicholas White, Jamie McCarthy, Lee Howard, a disappointing 8th and ninth position for the two big favourites today, Caleb Ewan and Michael Matthews. Simon Clark, who was the third big favourite, finishes in 14th position. Uh, but yeah, that's our first dub of the year. Um, we won't make... We, we won't make it two out of two because the next uh, race will be the uh, time trial championships of Australia. And uh, I mean, I might, I may even have a plus five. There's no way I'm winning in Ballarat. Um, but let's try either way. Uh, let's see if Ron Dennis can lose like he's done in real life for the past two years. Well, it's funny how 
one day can change the man. Heinrich Hausler used to have a plus three in the road race, uh, and I mean he won it because he was on plus three. Today he's got a minus three, uh, and he's about to be last of this time trial. Time trial definitely that isn't um, being dominated by a single team. Uh, I I don't know why someone could think that. It's just not like the first six riders are from the exact same team, uh, and it's just a shame that they're not gonna win. They might like. They might not even have a podium. Uh, imagine if, in the top ten, there's seven riders from Mitchell and Scott, and one rider from Ineos, Trek, and Sunweb, and that the rider from each of them team finishes on the podium. That'd be extremely uh, funny and a, a huge L for Mitchell and Scott. Um, but the only L that I will take today is Heinrich Hausler, like a 64 time trial. We're gonna get bullied. I, I swear to God, if I finish behind some riders from like, what was that again? I seem Futura Maxis or Memil. That's ropes. That's really ropes. Right, Heinrich Hausler soon going to cross the line in a, on the first intermediate in Burham Beat. Oh, it's a Trek rider in the lead already, and it's not even Richie Port, it's William Clark. Wow. Uh, Hausler losing 2 minutes 36 of uh, the um, the time trial right now. Brilliant. Uh, I don't know how many riders are there. Uh, or there are, but I'm pretty certain that Heinrich is towards the back. Um, in the meantime, William Clark has taken first place in Ballarat. How? How can you take such an L? And Chris Hamilton is... I managed to stall himself between 6th and 8th. Mitchelton aren't going to win this, and that's going to be so sad. Right, I, I may have like, pushed Heinrich Hausler a bit too much. He's out of energy, and there's 3 kilometers left. So, yeah, we're going to let him be overtaken by uh, Dylan Newberry, and most likely by Jonathan... Jonathan, actually. Jonathan Noble. I will just take a look at the uh, leaders or the favorites as they cross the intermediate. Michael Matthews, 26 seconds behind William Clark. Richie Paul, can you overtake his teammate um, from Trek Segafredo as we cross the line in Barambit? Yes, he can. Five seconds quicker, but will Ryan Dennis be a minute ahead of all these guys? Absolutely. Uh, Heinrich Sassler is towards the end of the line. There you go. Four minutes, 28. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, Ryan Dennis is 47 quicker. 47 seconds quicker than Richie Paul. Wow, and Miles Scott's in the second first place at the intermediate. Nice, decent. Um, where's Miles Scott's in? There. Okay, well, um, we'll take a look at um, when Miles crosses the line. Can Trek, uh, can Mitchelton not have a single rider in the top five? They, they might. All right, Scottson across the line. It's going to be behind William Clark. Uh, oh, it's ahead of William Clark. Wait, was he ahead of William Clark? Oh, the second part of the time trial. Actually, yeah, he's ahead of Michael Eben. Mitchelton Scott aren't going to have a single water in the top four. And that, I mean, I'm I'm there for it. I'm I'm about to welcome this news with open arms. Rory Sutherland gets 13th. Nathan Haas is going to be uh, behind. We'll just move two times two as he crosses the line. 136 behind. Luke Dabridge. Fourth place. Fourth place is the second best rider from Mitchell and Scott today. Michael Matthews. Um, he could potentially fight with the Michael Reban, but I think he'll be behind like Luke Darbridge and uh, Callum Scottson. There you go. Fourth place between Heban and Darbridge. Richie Port is going to take a podium position. Uh, first one. And Ryan Dennis is already here. 135 quicker than Richie Port. <laughs> it's a win for Ryan Dennis. Ahead of Richie Port, Miles Scottson with a very nice third position. William Clark, impressively fourth today. First rider from Mitchelton Scott is Michael Hebben in fifth position. I won't talk about the position of uh, of Heinrich Hausler because I don't think like I don't think that it's needed. Right. So there was one guy good today, and then there was the others. Uh, where's where's Heinrich? Oh, fifty fifth, six fifty one behind. Uh, we finished in the same time as Michael Potter. Last one was Lachlan Sinclair, 12.24. So we still finished like five minutes and a half ahead of like the last one, which is a win in itself. But we're closer to last place than we are to first, which isn't a win. Uh, but what is a win though is 
I mean, we won the road championships and we'll have a distinctive jersey to wear the entire season. Distinctive jersey that we'll wear for the first time on the Santos Tour down under. Uh, Mark Cavendish will be here with Matej Mohoric, Heinrich Hausler, Phil Berhaus, Hermann Pernsteiner and Mark Padden and Ivan Garcia Cortina. Uh, but that'll be for the second episode of the Bayern McLaren career mode. I really hope that you've enjoyed the first one and I hope that you'll be watching this series uh, as much as you lot watched the series with Sunweb, with Sunweb sorry, it it blew my mind, like, the support on it and, I mean, if we could get a similar amount of support on this one or an even bigger, then, I mean, I'd, that'd be absolutely amazing. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and want to, like, continue watching it, please, please subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Uh, I'm on 699 subscribers at the time I'm recording this, so it might be one of you that might be the seventh, the 700th, and that'd be huge, like genuinely huge. I didn't think I'd get there by uploading PCM, but here I am. Uh, if you're new around here, as I said, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like down below. If you didn't enjoy the video, also, please, um, well, give it a dislike, but tell me why in the comments, and I'll try and improve uh, in the further episodes, but in the meantime, I've been Black Always been an absolute pleasure coming back to Pro Cycling Manager and talking to you today. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bomb Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black, and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.